सो हेलो एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो सो टूडे आई एम इन वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट ग्रेव यार्ड इन मिलान इटली इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू लाइक वाट आर द प्लांट्स वी हैव टू प्लांट नियर द सेमेट्री और ग्रेव यार्ड सो इट्स नॉट लाइक वाट विच एवर प्लांट्स यू लाइक यू शुड प्लांट नियर द ग्रेव यार्ड बिकॉज इट हैव सम कनेक्शन इट हैव सम हिस्ट्री बिहाइंड इट्स सो इट्स हैव सम रिचुअल सो वी हैव टू फॉलो दैट and i will show you whatever plants i see in this uh, graveyard so that it will be easy for you and also i will share some information regarding this so now let's start the video so now let's start with the name of this cemetery so the name of this cemetery is monumentale cemeterio it is in milan italy it is one of the biggest cemetery in milan and it was uh, established in 1866 so it's really a very very old cemetery So now let's start with the plants. So mostly I found coniferous in the cemetery because they are evergreen and they are very less maintenance. So this one is from the Picea species that is the spruce and it is known as the Picea glauca white spruce. And here I can find this is the Trachylospermum jasminides which is a common star jasmine it's a fragrance. And here the third one is the Hedera helix which is the common english ivy this is also evergreen and in hedera helix we have the variegated one green one and the golden one and also we have small leaves big leaves so it depends on us and here is from another coniferous plant that is the tuza so tuza orientalis or tuza occidentalis so it is a kind of cupressus and it is also evergreen and zero maintenance plant even it grows in from wide range of temperature as you can see there is no maintenance and even though it is growing very good so it is one of the best plant to plant near the cemetery because of its zero maintenance and here is one of the important evergreen shrub that is laurus nobilis commonly known as bay laurel it is a symbol of highest status because of this reason the leaves of this plant is used in the graduation ceremony in italian universities So here we can see the spirea species it is a deciduous shrub and it have flowers in the spring season and in the fall the leaves turns to yellow and fall on the ground and here we can see the portulaca grandiflora which is mainly known for its flowers it's a kind of succulent also and here we can see the lampranthus spectabilis it can grow even in icy area to hot rock climate areas and here we can see number of ilex plant the commonly known as the common holly or english holly and it is very close to christmas and it is suitable for different climatic condition even in shade and even in full sunlight and here we can see one of the beautiful creeper plant from the mandevilla species commonly known as rock trumpet and it have fragrant flowers in warm climate it comes in different variety of colors and here is another coniferous plant that is yew or english yew botani botanically it is the texas baccata and it have red berry like fruits which are edible for uh, animals and birds not for humans and we can grow them as a avenue or we can grow them as a shrub or tree and we can trim them in different shape as you can see here and when comes to flowering then roses come first in everyone mind and here is another coniferous that is juniperus procumbens and it is a low growing evergreen coniferous and here we can find another spruce tree botanically it is a picea but i don't know exact species so i'm just saying the picea picea and here is one of the beautiful perennial flowering plant that is cyclamen which is generally grow from its tuber and it is native to rocky hills area and it flowers from late winter to early spring and here we can find the biggest magnolia grandiflora which is renowned for its big leaf and white color fragrance flower it is evergreen and under this tree we can found the water fountain which is very good and here we can see the water can for watering the plants and here is another early summer flowering shrub that is hydrangea which changes its flower color based on the soil ph and here is one of the exotic hinoki cypress from japan actually it is a dwarf coniferous and again here we can see the roses without flowers but beside this this is the the cemetery big cemetery and here the plant is pithosporum tobira that is a japanese cheese wood and it's a fragrant smell in early summer and it is a drought tolerant plant 
and this is the cotinia aster salsifolium it is a drought tolerant plant and evergreen to semi evergreen and here we can see the planting rows of tilia europea actually it is not a symmetry plant but i think they have grown just for the shade purpose along the pathway i am not sure whether it is for symmetry or no and here we can see the fagus silvatica i think it is a pendula because you can see the branches are hanging and it is from the fagus and we can see its leaves so it's also used under the cemetery you can see it is planted just beside the cemetery and here we can see the series of uh, cedrus decurrence plant it is from lebanon but it's not that lebanese one it is uh, cedrus and it is also evergreen and we can plant near the cemetery it is very good and we can see the rough texture of bark and here i found another uh, potted plant that is from the colonche blasfoliana it is mainly for its flower and also i found number of yucca gloriosa plant near the cemetery i think it is also used for cemetery purpose and here i think uh, these are the couples they died together and beside the couples we can see the tuza plant and back side it is a different plant and here we can see there are number of plants in this there is a roses and uh, this one is the big leaf is uh, bergenia strachice and back side we can see that is the ailanthus altissima and here i found the palm that is the trachycarpus fortunae it is also planted near the cemetery for memory and also in memorial garden we plant this and again i found the flowering bed of begonia that is the wax begonia we can say and again here we can see the hedera helix which is which dried and here you can see the beautiful cemetery and different kids and all and again here you can see the tuza very well structured and well trimmed and here you can see the roses and here we can in the center we can see the pisia pungens glauca this is the blue spruce not the white one and in outside i can see the platunus and this is from the outside so this is all about the plants in cemetery